Satnam, everyone. It's Candace from Soulfire Social, and thrilled to bring you the third in our series, working on the second chakra, on the sacral um, chakra. The color, just a reminder, is orange. It's related to the element of water. It incorporates our reproductive organs, the kidneys, the bladder, and it's all about tapping into the beautiful sexual energy that we carry in this space and allowing it to become balanced so we can activate our creativity, we can activate our passions. It's a wonderful, wonderful space to clear and cleanse and activate because once that starts to flow, it can really help to activate the upper chakras. Now, we've been working hard this week. I know um, if you've been going through the series, they've been some interesting classes. This one, we're gonna do two Kriyas. The first one is called the Sat Kriya Workout. And let me tell you, it gets to the heart of the problem. We are gonna be doing a combination of Sat Kriya. We'll go through that, but the posture, doing the Sat Nam, Sat Nam. That's the king of all Kundalini postures. And then what's the second king of kundalini postures? The frog, that's all about transforming sexual energy up from the lower triangle to your upper triangle, that's here. So it's a combination of those two postures and it's intense and it's gonna require a lot of kind of mental strength to stick with it but also mental strength to not judge yourself if you need to take a break and to come back with more power. So it's as much a physical challenge as it's going to be a mental challenge. And so I really invite you as we tune in to kind of get into that space of this is gonna be what it's gonna be for me today. I'm gonna to give it the absolute best that I can and I'm gonna really focus on what I'm doing, transforming this energy so that we can come out with that kind of passionate, creative, Power. So let's go ahead and start. Let's have our hands in Gyan Mudra, throw them an index finger, opened up on the knees. Arms are straight, reach that crown up towards the heavens. Eye focus on your third eye. Connecting, feeling your sit bones down into the earth. And I want you just to consciously kind of open up the space below, connecting the root down remember if that root chakra is not open there is no flow that's going to happen anyway we have to be fearless we have to feel secure so opening up open up your heart maybe roll your shoulders back here get yourself in your proper yogic posture and then start to breathe in the nose out the nose, feel that cool air coming in, starting to fill you up, starting to follow the breath with attention, allowing it to flow more deeply than perhaps it has thus far today. Intentionally bringing it in lower on each breath, starting to get it down into the belly, then bringing it up through the lower ribs, the upper ribs, and through the chest. Exhaling its stale energy, anything gray, heavy, stressful, any anxiety, just release it out of the body. We're inhaling in, white golden light let it swirl around inside open 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 release again breathing all the way down into the sacrum as if you're breathing down into that womb space let it flow up up up. Let's take another sip through rounded lips here. Sigh it out. Ah. Palms come together at the front. Start to rub your hands vigorously, creating warmth, creating heat. And then let's bring that heat into prayer pose. Thumbs connect at the sternum point, fingers pointing up and out. 
your heart to the universal heart. We tune in with the Adi Mantra, followed by the Mangala Charm. Let's go ahead and take an inhale to begin. Aum Namo Guru Dev Namo Aum Namo Guru Dev Namo is gentle, eye focus, third eye, visualizing the connection up to ancient wisdom, spiritual teachings, connecting at your own heart, peace, truth, love, surrounding yourself with a beautiful protective light, opening up the hands on the release, Connecting in with the energy of everyone in this group together, we practice this beautiful Kriya to activate our second chakra. And then as we take a deep inhale in, holding the breath at the top, knowing when we release, we'll send love and light out and connect with everyone on this call while we receive their love and light in the left hand. Let's release and send. And again, inhale and release and send. Beautiful. Bring your hands back down into Gyan Mudra. And just give me one moment to step back. And that lovely meditative posture. I just want you to tune in to my voice. There's something I want to read to you before we begin tapping into the energies of the new moon. It was last night. I'm feeling it today as well. It's probably the most important one. It's the most important new moon of the year. There's like six planets that are conjunct. It's a lot happening, but let's tap into it. Just listening to these words, it's a new moon mantra. It's perfect for today. I am restored by the sacred vibration. I am divinely protected. I relinquish the weight of that which no longer serves me. My spirit is awake. My path is revealed. I am open to receive. Let's take a deep inhale in through the nose. Extra sip through rounded lips. Big sigh out. Ah. Come on over onto your knees if that's an option for you. Otherwise, you can be an easy pose. See how this works throughout the class. We're going to be rotating between this posture and frogs. Now, just to make sure we have our posture correct when we're doing Sat Kriya. So either here or easy pose. When your arms come up, 
your interlacing, just interlace the hands. It's a, a Venus lock, so women, left thumb over right, men, right thumb over left. We come up. I want you to notice how my arms come up over my ears. You want to keep this as tight as you can, but shift the arms back so that lift is coming from the scapula on the back. You're not jacking your shoulders up. So the arms are up, yes, but rotate them back a little bit and drop them back down. It will allow you to keep your arms up and also then to not be feeling this for the next month. <laughs> I want you to be able to hold your arms up. Once they're up, you're going to be um, allowing the index fingers to point up and touch. Now, should you need to bring your arms down because you're tired, you can put them on your head. You can bring them to your heart center. You can drop them down here, but I really invite you to not release or relinquish that lock. I also invite you to kind of work through it. Your arms won't fall off. It's really, they won't. And it's very empowering to do this. I wouldn't ask you to push through something, you know, if you were gonna physically hurt yourself, but do as best you can keeping it up there. Tap into everyone else's energy. And, um, yeah, let's do this. We do the breaks in between, so we're going to be really active, you're going to get a break. So it's like, go for it, release, go for it, release. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to get this class started. I'm so excited. This is our stock Kriya workout, full activation for our sacral chakra. Let's get a little bit of music. Okay, but um, we're going to be chanting Sat Nam, and just remember, Sat Ta Nam. When you chant Sat, your navel comes in. Nam, you release. Sat Ta Nam. Sat Ta Nam. It's a little natural pull on your Mula Bandha. It doesn't have to be a big squeeze in, it's just going to happen naturally. So it's a little lift. We're starting to engage and bring the energy up through the body. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, 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 there we are. Arms up, got your posture, eye focus, third eye. Allow yourself to reach up and then drop those shoulders just back a little bit down. Face should be really relaxed. Let's go ahead and begin. Sata Nam, Sata Nam, Sata Nam. Sata Nam, 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 Sata no, 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 Sata no. Sata no, 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 Sata no. 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 
Satanam. 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 Two more. Satanam. Satanam. Now inhale. Hold the breath. Squeeze your mulabana. Pull very consciously in anus, sex organs, navel back towards the spine. Full engagement. Bring that kundalini from the second and third vertebrae. Ignite. Focusing as if you could literally see yourself clearing and cleansing, bringing in light into the sacral chakra, and then up, 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 up. Keep holding, keep squeezing, take it all the way past the third eye, the crown, out into the auric field. Open the hands, sweep the aura out to the side as you release the breath. Let go of the lock. Don't open the eyes here. This is the most powerful posture we have in Kundalini Yoga. You're creating a tremendous amount of energy with the pumping and the breath. You're chanting, truth is my name. You're connecting to the infinite and you're directing energy from your root all the way up past the crown to the auric field. Touch your fingertips down, reach your head towards the sky, the crown is leading. Inhale in again. Extra sip through rounded lips. Exhale, big sigh. Keep the eyes closed, lie on your back. Three minutes. You need to feel the effects and let it flow into your body. I am specifically going to play the chakra bowl or the sacrum. I just want to say for this Kriya, energizes, balances the lower triangle, curative for digestive and sexual ailments, gives endurance, often produces a pleasant sweat and cleansing of the skin. The first few times you do it, your legs may shake or be slightly weak, but your muscles will build and we will walk with increased grace and certainty. Hmm. Increased grace and certainty. You just breathe, let these vibrations
vibrations flow right on in. Direct them to your sacral chakra. Sat-ta-nam, 
Sata Nam 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 Keep going, make sure you're bringing in your navel strong on every sat Sata Nam 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 Two more Sata Nam Sata Nam Take a deep inhale Perfect your posture, squeeze in the Mulavanda, navel to the spine, through the red, into the sacrum, up through the navel, open up your heart space, clear out your throat chakra, flutter your third eye to the crown, up and out, 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 this energy flows, keep squeezing, keep holding. Tremendous energy you're creating. Open it up. Sweep the aura. More vibrant. More vital. Expand. 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 Reach your crown towards the heavens. Let your fingertips touch for a moment. 
See if you can't notice some energy in your fingertips and your palms. Let's take a deep inhale here through the nose. Extra sip through rounded lips. Hold it. I focus third eye. Sigh. Without opening the eyes, release the legs into an easy pose. Just listen to my voice here. No need, no need to lose all that energy. It does not serve you to open your eyes. I promise I'll describe it well. So you're in an easy pose. You're sitting up straight and tall. Interlace your hands behind your head in a Venus lock. At the base of the skull, your elbows are out. And if you push your elbows back, you can feel it opening across the chest. Eye focus, third eye, jaw completely relaxed. Tongue in the soft palate, begin just breathing in and out, long and deep. Opening up, the focus is the breath coming in and every inhale you open that heart space, open that chest just a little bit more. Go ahead and enjoy. is a vibrating, energetic, amazing mass of creative energy. Hold it, squeeze Mulabandha. 
Make sure you still have a gentle tilt in the neck, even while we open up the chest, because that energy has to flow from the root up past that diaphragm, up through that opening in the cervical spine, up into your crown. It needs to ignite the pineal and the pituitary so you can ignite your third eye. Squeeze it, hold it. Release, keep the eyes closed, come back up on the knees. We have Sat Kriya for three minutes. Don't let anything distract you. Just stay in your own beautiful energy. Arms come back up. Find your perfect posture. Let's begin. Sata Nam. 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 Two more. Sata Nam. Sata Nam. Inhale. Hold it. Squeeze. Mulabandha. Really perfect it. Flow of energy, Shakti energy. You're taking powerful mantra, truth is my name. You're combining it with the navel pumping, with the breath, with the locks. You are igniting your own Kundalini energy. Let it clear, let it cleanse, let's open, expand, release, spread it out.
keeping everything closed, all of that energy in, lie on your back, two minutes. I'm gonna play it at the full again. Good night, everything. Let it just flow through you. up into the chest. Give yourself a hug, a little rock from side to side. And rock yourself up. We're going to start with 26 frogs. So we're going to start a combination where we're going to be doing frogs, rest, sock kriya, frogs, rest, Sat Kriya. That's how it's going to go. It's how it's going to flow. So if you can keep the energy in again, just listen to my voice. As much as you can do with this, with your eyes closed, the better. So remember, we come down, we touch our beautiful heels together, our knees are out. And so let's just think about this. You just created phenomenal energy in your lower triangle. You're open at the chest, you're open at the throat. My eye focuses on my third eye. This is my exhale, my inhale. I come up, I keep my heels together. I am literally transforming the energy from this triangle up to this one. So, 26. If 26 is a bit too much for you today, the number is 13, but I invite everyone to do the number that is correct for you on your last one. Inhale, squeeze, hold. Come back down into a rock pose on your knees and just sit with your hands on your legs and wait for everybody else to come. You just meditate. Let's begin.
down, grounding. Touching your breath. Rise and fall of the chest, you're filling up with fresh prana. It should allow you to be more conscious of energy in this upper triangle. Harness the one at the center.
direct it where you need. I focus third eye, maybe you see a color there. Notice that, notice that. Up, 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 up. As you release, expand. Take your time, this should be the slowest thing you do all day, is if you were literally, if you could see yourself pushing, expanding your energetic field around you. This is the most powerful Kriya we have. Experience it. Those fingertips do touch, feel the grounding as you reach the crown up. Inhale. Extra sip through rounded lips. Sigh. You have one minute. If you want to take it on your back for a minute, go ahead. Otherwise, bring your hands into your lap and just sit with this energy for one minute. I'll tell you when it's done. long and deep inhale through the nose exhale big sigh ah, I need you to come up and do ten frogs do the best of your ability as perfect as you can focus on taking the energy up and over Done being rock pose. come up let's begin sat nam 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 Sat nam, 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 
switch off in the mind for the rest of this practice come into your heart and just focus on truth is my name that vibration and that energy
big sigh. I invite you to do 15 frogs. Best of your ability. Come back. We'll drop pose or easy pose when you're ready. Sata nam, 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 Sata nam. Sata nam, Sata nam, Sata 
nan sa ta 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 nan two more sa ta nan sa ta nan inhale reach towards the sky Homolabana, maybe a little smile on your face. Make it light. It's heavy work, but make it light. Bring the energy up. High vibration. Get rid of that dense, lower energy. Elevate yourself. Up, 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 up. Open your hands. Slowest sweep yet. Broadest miles make it miles wide go big here we're almost there reaches up. You have a minute. Keep your energy in. in your body. Just listen to this mantra again. I am restored by the sacred vibration. I am divinely protected. I relinquish the weight of that which no longer serves me. My spirit is awake. My path is revealed. I am open to receive. the last set of frogs. There are only ten. Make them as beautiful as you can and think about taking your energy from that lower triangle up and over. Ten. <laughs> Easy pose. Give yourself 30 seconds. It's our last round of Sat Kriya. It's going to be five minutes. I invite you to challenge yourself to stay in your posture the entire time. Get into that neutral mind. Truth is your name. You're a 
have so much energy flowing within. Sat, 
Sata Nam 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 Two more Sata Nam Sata Nam Inhale Reach towards the sky Perfect your posture Engage Really strong forward in Mula Bandha Navel to the spine Take it from the red of the root Through the orange of the sacrum the yellow at the navel, bring it up through, break through blocks at the green of the heart, light blue at the throat, indigo third eye crown, keep the hands up, we're going to do this twice, so release the breath and the locks, let it waterfall down, waterfall down, you can do this, you can do this, keep the hands up, inhale, engage, trying to open up our flow to a higher state of consciousness. Up, up, up. Keep the hands up, release the lock in the breath. You have one more. Please do not open your eyes. Inhale. Reach. Squeeze. This is it. All of your work.
restored by the sacred vibration and divinely protected. I relinquish the weight of that which no longer serves me. My spirit is awake. My path, it is revealed. I am open to receive. with your physical body and touching each of your fingertips with the thumb like you do with your sa, sa, na, na, awareness. And where your toes, circles with wrists and ankles. Bring the arms up over the head, big, Stretch, opening up the heart space. Bring those knees in, give yourself a great big hug. Take some rocks from side to side. You don't need to do your own stretching after this class, I believe, today. And then rock yourself back up into a seated posture.
release and release. Now we yoga practice contribute to the well-being of all. We exhale, bringing our prayer through those chakras. Peace to all, light to all, truth to all, and love to all. Bow down, giving thanks to Mother Earth, the Father Sky, blessing you and your prayers, wishing everyone a magical, magical weekend. Take this energy out and let's do some good with it. Actually, we really must, I think. Let's take some energy, send it up and out into the collective. Let's have some positive impact oh, on the vibration today. Big inhale in. Big exhale out. Create something magical today. Sadhanam. Oh, my knees are going to be a little stretchy. Oh, goodness. Satnam.